Singapore citizens from 12 to 39 years old will have a two-week priority window to book their vaccination appointments, which they can do from tomorrow. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang said that 1.5 million people have yet to get their shots. But with 49,000 doses being administered on a daily basis currently, he said Singapore's vaccination exercise is progressing well. As of 9th of June, more than 4.4 million doses uh, have been administered and more than 2.5 million people of our population have had at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. That means about 44% of our population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. And we are now vaccinating about 49,000 doses on a daily basis and we have the capacity to maintain this acceleration of our vaccine rollout, provided our supplies are steady and continue to arrive. The Health Ministry is advising that those who have recovered from COVID-19 from over six months ago should also receive one dose. This is because of evidence indicating that a single dose would further boost their immunity against the virus. This group can register from tomorrow as well if they are part of a population group already eligible. Look at the experience in America as an example. More than 40% of people in America are fully vaccinated, two doses. And about 10% of them have been infected with the virus. So we're talking about an immunity of about 50% or more, slightly more. And with that coverage, already you can see their infection rates are steadily coming down. We are not there yet, but we will get there soon. We expect 50% of people in Singapore to be fully vaccinated in August. And by October, we should reach an overall vaccination rate of 75% or hopefully more. So as we progress through these stages, we will ease our restrictions and gradually restore our normal lives both within Singapore and at our borders. Then we will move to phase three and even beyond phase three to a new normal phase of living with endemic COVID. Now, MOH recommended that those who have recovered from COVID-19 should get a single dose of the vaccine. When an infected person recovers, uh, presumably there is already the presence of antibodies. Doctor, help us understand how would a single dose help and add a protection of uh, sorts perhaps? Great question. I love it very much. It boils down to the amount of antibody levels you have. If you have a natural infection, you have so much, but that is not enough. When you have a natural infection, uh, you have so much antibodies, but when you have a second dose of vaccine, it boosts it up really, really high. So I'm going to try to plot out a graph for you, imaginary graph for you. If you have one dose of COVID-19 vaccine as an mRNA, you have so much antibodies, but when you have a natural infection, it goes slightly higher. When you go for two doses of anti uh, vaccines, you is even slightly higher than natural infection. But that's not the maximum antibodies you can get. In fact, you get the maximum antibodies when you have a natural infection plus one dose of vaccine and you really, really hit the top. When you hit the top, you are able to cope with many more of the variants much better. Number two, and studies have shown if I have a natural infection, I have one dose of vaccine, I have such high levels, by giving another dose, it doesn't make a difference in antibody levels. So those have been infected, one dose and you get massive amount of antibodies, the second dose after that is not needed. In other words, you can save their precious vaccine for somebody else. It, at the end of the day, to overcome the virus, it's a numbers game. The greater the number, the more efficient you are at getting rid of the virus.